Hi, this is Gary with G's Bees. And I'm just out today trying to kind of look over some of the pollen sources that they're using in the flow right now. The um, I'll show you some of the stuff that has dried up. <clears throat> and I'll show you some new sources, which the main source going right now, which I won't be able to show you because they're, they're pretty tall trees, but the persimmon trees, they're really on the persimmon trees really hard right now. So the privet blooms are pretty well gone. There's nothing on the privet now. The wild roses have gone. And the blackberries are producing blackberries. The blooms have gone off. There is just a little bit of honeysuckle still left, but not a lot. Let's see if I can get a close up of some of that honeysuckle right there. They're on it just a little bit, but you can really hear them buzzing above. And it's mainly these persimmon trees, which are a, a smaller round tree that really get tall. I've got some that are 45, 55 feet tall. This one's probably 30 feet, so it's one of the smaller ones. But they really hit that persimmon hard. They're really on prickly pear hard right now. Got a lot of prickly pear cactus that's blooming and they're really on it. And so those are the main things that are going right now. They're also, they are on the barrage a little bit that's grown up. There's not a whole lot of it that's bloomed out, but what is bloomed out, they're on. And the wildflowers, since we've had all this rain, as you can tell, we've had about three days of rain, they have really bloomed a lot of wildflowers and so the cone flowers and the, the vetch has even come out a little bit the hairy vetch and so there's lots of things going on the big white clover has really been hit this week The Dutch clover's kind of falling off. It's still there, but they don't seem to be on it much. But the big white, they're really on it. And so, uh, it's a lot going on right now for them for a flow. So we'll walk down back to the main yard. and I'll show you what they're up to. So you can tell they're really, really busy working right now. Lots of nectar coming in. So we've got a lot of the smooth sumac that is fully leafed out and probably a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, it'll be fully bloomed. So I think that's going to time out pretty good because by then the persimmon will die off. 
and you'll see all this the yellow blooms on all of this sumac coming in so we'll keep you updated on that that'll be our another bigger flow the persimmons are is a pretty good size flow and it'll go for three weeks to a month and hopefully we'll get some off of this too well if you enjoyed the video i appreciate a like and subscribe and hope everything's going well for you in your ape area and uh, just drop a comment of what's going on in your area i'm in central oklahoma And we're having a pretty good nectar flow. Hopefully if the rain keeps up, we'll do well this year. Thank you.